Eight now that I get him. Get your head too close in there, Jay. Good morning, you guys. We are anchored up here in a beautiful little area in North Carolina, right off of no, I don't know, South, Carolina. South Carolina. Beautiful hair. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Beaufort, somewhere, right around Beaufort. There are dolphin all around the boat here. We just brought Jetty for a walk out of that beautiful little park. Dolphin everywhere, just, wow. Eating, Sierra says. Unfortunately, we're broken down again. <laughs> for the third time. Uh, so after we said bye to you guys last time, we went a couple more hours and we tried to pick up a mooring in a mooring field around the corner here. And I put the boat in reverse and we got stuck in reverse. We almost hit a sailboat. The lady was not very happy. Yeah, so we dropped the, well, I shut the engine down real quick and then we dropped the, the anchor. And after a few tries of turning the engine on and messing with the, thro the shifter, I finally got it out of reverse. And since we pretty much woke up the whole mooring field, we just decided to keep on going and, and find another anchorage instead of staying there for the night so we went around the corner we went a little further but as we were anchoring and i was shifting from neutral to forward i lost my forward i lost all shifting so the boat won't go in forward and it won't go in reverse so we're stuck so we're stuck Again. for now <laughs> i wanted to pick up no i didn't want to pick up the camera last night so i was just so so frustrated and bummed out so, yeah, at least we have dolphin around the boat this morning. So I'm gonna spend the morning looking at transmission and see if I can figure out what's going on. We have like no time. Like, I don't know, you guys probably noticed already that we're just cruising and we haven't been able to really stop and explore a lot of places because we have to get up to Long Island because we have to start work uh, lifeguarding for the season. How many days? Eight days. In eight days and we're only in Beaufort, South Carolina. So we are already like, on schedule but like had to grind it out to get up there and now if we have to sit for even a full day it's gonna put us behind schedule we can't stay for another week for another transmission job like we did in Daytona so I don't know what we're gonna do so I'm gonna check it out this morning hopefully it's something simple hopefully I can figure it out quick wish us luck wish us luck hey now that I get him and so beautiful. What's up? <laughs> He's playing under the boat, love. We're still stuck, but we're gonna go out to dinner. Taking a break. Our damper plate was destroyed. Our brand new damper plate. Anybody have any ideas why that would happen? Let us know. We're gonna go explore Bu Bu Buford, or Ladies Island. So we just ate dinner on Ladies Island and we met Logan and his mom. Do you want to be on it? Yeah. We met Logan and <laughs> do you have any sports? Uh, baseball, fishing. Fishing? Awesome. You could probably teach us some things because <laughs> we're not that good. <laughs> All right, well, we're waiting for the part that we need. It's going to come in tomorrow morning from Florida. 
and we'll go pick it up at the UPS store. A lot of people, a lot of you guys ask how we get mail when we're on the boat. And usually we have a P.O. box, Mailroom Plus in Florida. But when we're on traveling like this, we have to just find a place to get whatever we need shipped. So we found a UPS store and they'll have our package shipped to them and we'll pick it up in the morning, hopefully put it on and get it out of here. But we're gonna use today to explore Buford a little bit and check it out, see what Buford's all about. Have a little bit of fun, try to make the best of this situation. So this is called a swing bridge. Most of the bridges we go under are bascal bridges or draw bridges or, yeah, Sierra's saying bridges that open like this. Yeah, so when this one opens, we're not tall enough for to have this one open, but like when the sailboat comes through, they call the bridge and the bridge opens. And that whole bridge pivots on this little, this part here. So the whole bridge goes uh, and turns and then you can pass through either on this side here or on the other side. Just a cool bridge because there's no... with the dock master over here at Buford, was it, Marina? Super nice guy, he pointed us over here in the direction of a public dock that we can stay here, dock the little whaler here for free for the day or a few hours or whatever. Awesome. We should call Logan and see if those are good bait. We're here exploring downtown Beaufort and it turned out I left a message to someone to see if they had this part that we need and he just called me back and he is like two hours away so we're gonna go rent a car and get this part because that saves us a whole day of waiting and then traveling. Hopefully it works. If we had more time we like we would not be renting a car and driving two hours to get this part we would just hang out here in Beaufort explore the area while this part gets delivered to us, but we're out of time. We have to be up in a week from today. I have to be there in one week this evening today. So that's why we're spending extra money and putting an extra effort to get this part quicker, which stinks. <laughs> Sorry guys, my camera died before, but we're back on the boat. We got the part. This is called a drive damper or a damper plate or a dampening plate. But thank you so much to Chris Jones in, he's like just inland of Charleston and he helped us out. He actually had it there. I've been calling for like hours last, yesterday and this morning, just calling all different places, searching online to see who the closest place was who had this thing who we might be able to drive to. All right, we're gonna get this thing back in the engine, transmission back on, bolt it up, and make sure it's aligned, and we'll be good to go, I think. What do you think, Sierra? Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that offered help. Yeah, <laughs> so well, nice. it's funny, because, so our videos are a little bit delayed, just in case you guys haven't noticed. So the same day I posted that Broken Down in Daytona video, that night, that's that was last last night. Yeah, that was two nights ago here in South Carolina when we broke down. It's kind of ironic, but yeah. So at the same time, everyone's offering us help and support and um, giving us offers for rides and stuff in Daytona, and we're actually here in South Carolina, broken down again. But I'm sure a ton of you guys are going to be commenting and offering help again, and we just thank all you guys 
for your support. You no, know, one of our fans, Captain Ray Kelly, commented and he, he said that he once broke down in Port, Port Royal, South Carolina, and that's exactly where we are right now, broken down again. So that's kind of funny. All right, wish us luck. Here we go.